a little bit of franchise TV on his YouTube channel, I'll unbox anything. Today I'm actually unboxing the All Elite Wrestling Crate. This is actually made and sold by ProWrestlingTees.com who sells the Pro Wrestling Crate every single month. So this is their poorly spinoff of the All Elite Crate. Nothing but AEW wrestling goodness in this box. So if you're an AEW fan, this is the box that you want to get. You ready to do this though? I think this box, yeah, I actually paid for the whole year up front. I think it's cheaper that way. At least I think it is. But I think it was like maybe like 40 bucks a box. I think that sounds right. 40. But yeah, I pay for a whole year. Four boxes a year. If you're an AEW fan, this is the box that you want to get. Here you go. Top is the cheat sheet. Yep. It says the other side of this card contains spoilers for this crate. So the next one won't be available till the third quarter, which is currently third quarter. It'll come during this quarter at some point. Here we go. First item, t-shirt. What do we have? This is actually a thicker t-shirt. We have, oh, Danhausen. Okay, we've got a Dan, the curse of Danhausen. Very nice, very evil. That shirt's not bad right there. Not bad at all. Curse of Danhausen. Oh, he's a very popular, entertaining wrestler. Not the biggest, not the strongest, not the most feared, but definitely the most evil, but very nice. That's all that matters, right? Danhausen. Yeah, very nice guy, actually. I've actually met him a couple times now. Here we go. Going back in, we have. We got some stickers, looks like. We have FTR. If you're a fan of stickers, some stickers what is this i feel some very small wow that's like super small welcome aw wrestling it's a super little tiny magnet it's like the size of like a penny like what was the point of this honestly it's like literally a size of a penny okay okay a t-shirt right there let's go a little bit deeper Micro brawlers through the micro brawler. We've got oh, Claudio, that's a nice one. He debuted, it says December 24th, 2000. That was probably with what ROH before WWE. 6'5, 232 pounds from Lucerne CH or CH. I'm not too sure. That actually looks very, very cool. Blackpool Combat Club figure looks awesome. I don't, I don't collect micro brawlers, a lot of people do. These used to actually be a lot more collectible a few years back, but now they're only going for about 10, 15 bucks a piece, but it still has some, a little bit of value to them. But remember like 2019, 2018, these fears were going for like $40 right out of the gate from the pro wrestling crate box. If you got a decent rush, like a Kenny Omega that paid for the whole box plus some, but these kind of have lost, they've lost some value. They usually do chase versions of these usually. Here we go. Let's go back in. Pin. Here we go with a pin. What do we have? We have, it's the same thing as that little magnet. Welcome to AEW, kind of like with that Las Vegas sign. Welcome to AEW sign. Or that Las Vegas sign. So, oh, this is actually a two-piece magnet pin set. Let's actually, this is made on purpose as a two-piece set. Okay. Let's do another t-shirt black color t-shirt we like that who do we have is it awesome thicker t-shirt again we have whoa that thing's colorful i will never wear this shirt we have the best friends yeah i will never wear that shirt that is just not my style at all that's just too colorful too bright too happy for me we got the best friends though. That's not a bad shirt though. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not the kind of shirt that I would ever wear. Okay, but I'm sure a lot of people out there, you love the shirt, and that's cool if you do. You won't like every single item in every single subscription mystery box. You just won't. It's almost impossible. But if you do, hey, that's great. Next item. Is that a keychain? Oh, Chris Jericho keychain. That's kind of decent. Okay, it's like a micro brawler keychain. 
of Chris Jericho. Okay. Right now, there's really nothing that I think. I might keep Dan Housen t shirt. I actually. I might not. I have literally probably 200 t-shirts in my closet right now. Probably 150 of them I've never even worn. So as of right now, I don't think I'm going to keep anything. But everything that I don't keep, I'll have for sale in my eBay store. There should be a link below in the description box of the video for my eBay store. Should be. Keyword should be. Here we go. Next. We have a poster. Let's see what we got on this one. Oh, through the back of it, it looks like Brody Lee and John Moxley through the back. And it is main event for the AW World Championship. John Moxley, Brody Lee, Jacksonville, Florida, May 23rd, 2020. Okay, pretty cool. Cool stuff. Rest in peace, Brody Lee. Heck of a talent. Here we go. Go back in again. Let's see what we got. Here's something soft. Is that a Where's the end of it? Oh, there it is. Let's say, is this like a handkerchief, a garden flag or something? What does it even say on there? The American, oh, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, kicking, oh, it goes this way. There we go. There we go. Now you can read it. So we have kind of like a, a vinyl flag of Brian Danielson. Okay, I won't keep the flag. I have no reason or use for just a random flag. So anyway, here we go. This might be the last item. I think it is the autograph. Hopefully somebody really good. Here we go. I'll show you first who we have. Ruby Soho. Eh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of her. She's actually from Indiana, where I live. I'm not a fan of Ruby Soho. I, I didn't care for her much in WWE when she was, uh, was it Ruby Riot? Now it's Ruby Soho. I just, I've never been a fan of her work. I've never been a fan of her in ring abilities or mic skills. I'm just not a Ruby Soho fan. So, yeah, this box was kind of a letdown. Really, nothing in this box I, I really cared for. The Dan Housen shirt was the best item, I think. Best item of the t-shirt. Everything else is kind of like, eh, eh. It was okay. Not my favorite by any means. Kind of a letdown. But it was still a lot of stuff for what I paid. Two exclusive t-shirts, figurines, flags, autographs. Price point wise, it was a good deal. Just nothing that I personally want to keep. I probably won't even keep the t-shirt. Probably not. I don't need any more t-shirts, but oh well. I'll do the next box when it comes during this quarter. See you then.